Welcome back. We're uh, to the track again. Just pulling through the gates right now, getting ready to tech. And figured I would give a few more pulls on this setup. I was just here two weeks ago. And I'm probably going to leave it turned down and just see what it does. I turned down the boost about two and a half turns on the wastegate. So it's like we're up against an F body with some slicks. messed up that time I left the two-step off so I just spun out had to lift and then turned it up so I was probably like a mid 13 it just wasn't right the launch was terrible so I'm just getting back into this it's hard to get the hang of this switches and knobs and gears thank you Last time I came here, I was pretty weighted down. I had two extra wheels and tires in the bed. And it weighed 4,210 pounds with me in it. So we're gonna see what this is. It was up 13.4 at 111. And we are 4,050 pounds. So that's a hundred more pounds than what I was weighing last year with the old setup. So we picked up a little weight. Let's see if I can get this right this time. Just, going just in case. all over the map tonight I did like a 2.0 something and a 2.3 right after that using the same launch rpm so I'm gonna try a burnout this time I don't know if it's gonna matter on street tires but try to get the tires a little warm and see if it makes any difference six at 114 2.260 foot that burnout didn't really seem to do a whole lot for me All right, I think I'm gonna get smoked on this match got a 5-0 on some radials Sixty foot. 062 RT though. It's pretty good. 
12 7 at 113. That's the new best. You got the full interior, which is awesome. Are those our AFR? No, trick clothes. There we go. 508 horsepower and 558 torque. Oh, I got the same size tire. Oh, man, I just. 55 maybe. Is it stock cam still? No, it's got a half cam. Got to turn the boost up right away, so I don't know what that was, but it didn't feel the best, that's for sure. It didn't feel as good as the last time. I pulled through second on low boost, so we'll see. Let's see those 14s, Mr. Helmet. Is this it? What's your best 14 2? 14-2. Let's see that 14. Do you have room in the car? You need to ride in it? Yeah. Tuner Studio. So we're going against Art again this time with the stock bottom end on three Fox. Last pass, I forgot to turn up the high boost. So I'm going to try to not do that this time. But I'm still running out of gear, so I'm just going to sit at the rev limiter on the top and just let it hang out and not lose miles an hour at least. It won't gain any, but better than losing. And I'm also going to do a burnout because... The burnout gave me like a 2-2, so we'll see if that helps. This may be the last pass. This time, Brandon. Boom, we're staged. What the hell? What? Tried to go into reverse. I blew it on that pass bad. That was total driver error. So it looks like, let's see. Looks like I might be going against the ZL1. All right, there's a good chance I'm gonna lose on this one. This guy, supercharged ZL1. Let's see how well I can get the launch down. So far, I haven't been doing very good on that. So hopefully I can change it.
driving back from the track, I almost made it, but I've got a serious rattling sound, and uh, something's broken here. Let's see if you can hear it. So the problem is, if you can see, this thing spins awesome, but it doesn't look right. There's like bends at the tips of these things. It's not supposed to be there. There's a big gap between the housing and the wheel. It's because the bearing cartridge failed. So it had a little bit of in and out play like that, like the other one. But since it wasn't smoking, I just let it go. And this is what happens when you do that. It completely eats itself alive. So the turbine shaft is still one piece. You can see, spin it from the compressor side, and it's still spinning, so um, it's not seized up or anything. It had plenty of oil, but the bearings just failed, which took the wheel out. I'm sure this housing is probably not looking great. All right, so this wheel was definitely hitting the housing. You can see the marks there on the turbine. It's also quite a bit smaller, but it was still good enough to use. So I swapped over this center section from the old setup. One thing that I noticed on both of the, these is there is this thing in here, which it looks like a piece of silicone. I pulled it out of the other one, but it's like stuck, right? So I pull this thing out and I have no idea where it came from, but it's just that little stringy deal. And it's kind of a good thing that I took it apart to see it, but this housing is cracked. And you can see right here, right there, that crack. And it actually caused the wheel to hit the housing. You can see right there. And it's the same deal on this one. It is cracked in the same spot, a little easier to see right there. And the wheel was hitting the housing there, but you can kind of see that porosity in the casting. Something else, but something to look out for. These housings have, you know, uh, six months of time on them so nothing too crazy but it's interesting to see that both of them have that crack there which I imagine is related to this wheel hitting the housing so good news is this one although this turbine wheel is hitting this housing it is not cracked so I uh, will run it until it does